y'all what's up it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here in today's video I'm going to be showing y'all how to tie up a horse using slip knots because I've been getting a lot of questions about it over on my Instagram be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you were able to find it helpful and don't forget to click on that subscribe button down below in case you want to see more of my future videos I've also been getting a lot of questions about shout outs on my YouTube. So what I'm going to start doing is doing a notification bell shout outs. All you have to do is subscribe and ring the notification bell. And once you do that, just comment that you did and you will be entered for a chance to win a shout out in one of my videos. And if you would like to see behind the scenes and pictures and things like that, my Instagram and everything is always linked in the description box. And I'm also about to drop a new t-shirt design really soon. So I'll have my store Instagram linked in the description box below as well um so yeah let's just get started okay so first i'm going to show y'all how to tie to a hitching post and we use slip knots to tie up our horses because if there was an emergency all we have to do is pull this and your horse is untied you don't want to be over here fiddling with a knot i'm going to show y'all the two things that i do on a hitching post and then i'll show y'all on like a normal like vertical post what i would do and this is a really long lead rope this is a um training lead so so I wanted to show y'all what I do with this as well. I take my rope and I make a loop giving her however much slack I want her to have. And then I put it over the top of the hitching post and grab the loop that you just put over the top of it. And then you're gonna, really Bernie? One of our barn cats has the tail end of the rope. Um, then you're gonna take the tail end and I run it behind this one. So I like have it tied in. And then you're gonna run it through the loop you just made that's behind the post and then I kind of pull on it a little bit so you have another loop and then I take the tail end again and pull it through and that's one of the things that I'll do especially with a shorter lead rope because you don't have a ton of like slack but since this lead rope is long since I just made another loop I take it again run it through again and I just keep doing that until I don't have a bunch of slack hanging down so then it ends up looking like that because you tied up all of your slack. Okay, so again, you're gonna take it, put it over the hitching post, take your tail end behind the piece that's to the horse. So you're gonna run it like that, and you're gonna take the tail end to make a loop through the loop that you put over the hitching post, like that. And then you're gonna run it through again. So basically you're just running the tail end and making more loops with it, like this until you get to the tail of your rope and like I said with your shorter leads I just leave it about right there with just one loop and then to untie it you just pull it okay I'm gonna show y'all one more time closer up so you're gonna take your rope with a little loop over the top of the hitching post Okay, and then I grab the loop with my left hand, then you're going to take the tail behind the piece that's connected to your horse, so you're going to wrap it around, and then run it through the loop that you put over the hitching post. Okay, and then you're going to take your tail end again, run it back through to just keep making loops, and this is where you would leave it with a shorter rope, but since this rope is longer, you can keep running it through. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all on a post. It's pretty much the same thing, but just so you can see it, um, I'm going to show y'all on this kind of post as well. So, do it again. You're not going anywhere. Already. Okay, so, no. <laughs> There's hay over there. So, you're going to give the horse the amount of slack in the lead that you want. You're going to take your lead, make a little loop, put it around the post like this. And then it's the same thing, you're going to take the tail end and you're going to put it over the piece that's going to your horse and you're going to take it through the loop that you put around the post and then you're going to take the tail end and run it back through. Again, if this is a short lead rope, that's all you would have to do. But since it's longer and you have a lot of slack, I run it through again and again. So you're just making a loop and you're not pulling the, the tail through all the way, so you're just making another loop to run the rest through. So you just do this all the way down. That way your tail end isn't hanging everywhere, it's just on the post. And then again, to untie it, you just pull it 
dry out and your horse is completely untied. Um, I'm gonna zoom in, that way y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, so again, this end is going to Lady. <laughs> Dumb moments. So I'm gonna give her the amount of slack that I want her to have. I'm gonna take this, make a loop, put it around the post, just like that. Then you're gonna take the tail end over the piece that's going to your horse and you're gonna pull it through the loop you made around the post, but you don't pull it through all the way, you just make another loop with it. And then take your tail end again, pull it through the loop. So yeah, this is what it should look like. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. Um, just keep practicing at it, and I promise you will get it. It's super easy. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope y'all were able to find it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if it was, and don't forget to subscribe down below so you can see more of my videos. Um, so yeah, I love and appreciate y'all so much, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!